Hi, welcome to One Shot Travel. My name is Jay and today we're checking in at the Crown Plaza Times Square here in New York City. This property is along Broadway between 48 and 49th Street and it's right across the street from the M&M store. This property is also part of the ISG brand, which means it's affiliated with the Holiday Inn, the Even Hotel, the Intercon, and many more. And as usual, I'll give you my unbiased, unfiltered opinions about this property and show you my overall experience as well at this hotel. Let's check in. All right, so this is my room, 3502. It's a pretty long hallway here, coming into your room. Uh, they have all the space for yourself. I don't know if you can see clearly, but this is a long, big hallway. You can probably fit maybe around eight big suitcases here to stock. Immediately upon entering the room, you are greeted with this big king-size bed. This is a corner room, so I have two big windows on both sides of the wall. The first window, I have a view of Health's Kitchen. And on this second window, I have a view of Times Square. This is a fairly big space for a hotel room in New York City. You can fit a lot of suitcases here, especially when you're traveling internationally. Big TV here, uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. This is your work desk area, and this used to be the TV stand. Uh, this is where they provide you with the safe and also the Keurig machine. Moving to the left side of the hotel room, this is where your cabinet is. Put our stuff in there already. It's a good sized closet. And on your left side here will be the vanity area. Just want to show you how big of a space this is. They have the usual stuff here. They provide you with a bar soap, lotion, shampoo, and conditioner. And they provide you with a hair dryer also. Going into the shower now, it's fairly simple. It's a stand-up shower. This is a small shower though, but I guess this will do for now. One clever thing to note here, they have a hole in this glass so that you can turn on the shower without getting wet. Cool. I like that they give you two water bottles here upon check-in. This should be standard in all hotels. This is a 48 to 50 inch TV. It's very nice, it's fairly new. However, it's crooked. You can't change it, you can't level it. You can see how the wallpaper ends here. At some point in time, they probably ripped it all off and they painted it. This is how you make the hotel room look a little bit newer. All right, now that we saw the size of the room, I must say that this is a big room, bigger than the usual hotel room here in New York City. Now it's time to check the bed. They have uh, medium to firm pillows here. Just good. This will work. Ooh, what do we have here? They have two layers of protection here. This is the fitted sheet and this is the mattress stopper, but they don't have a mattress protector. However, Upon checking thoroughly, they do not have black dots. This is a little bit of an older mattress, but it's clean. It's one of those hotels that put the comforter in between two sheets, which means the one that touches your body is always clean. Okay, now that we're sure that we're sleeping in a clean bed tonight, let's do the bed test. It's a... Uh, Medium, medium firm mattress, it's good. Now as a Crown Plaza, you're expecting it to be a full service hotel. However, this Crown Plaza Times Square does not have the following amenities. They don't have a gym on site and they don't have a proper restaurant. Yes, they do have a bar opening at 5 p.m. and they do serve bar food, but no proper sit down restaurant for the gym. I was told I have to go to their sister property, Millennium Broadway. Quick note, I was just there a few weeks back and I know the gym for sure is under renovation. But if these things are not very important to you, so far the hotel room is pretty good. 
Alright, so it's night time now and the sun has set already. Now it's a good time to look at Times Square. I'm not sure how clear it's gonna be, but I'll show you the view from up here. It's time to check the lobby area now. Uh, this is the front desk at the back and this is the chandelier that you would see when you go up the escalator upon checking in. This is where the full service restaurant is. It's called Brazier 1605. It's been closed for a very long time. And now they're left with this. This is the bar area. If you pause it, that's their menu. And they're open at 5 p.m. till 12 midnight. One clever thing I saw here at the lobby area, they have this free phone disinfecting device. Uh, you put the phone there, you wait a couple of seconds and it pops out very clean and disinfected. It is named Crown Plaza Times Square, so let's go ahead and go down and see how close it really is to Times Square. This is the front entrance here, and if you turn left, it's Junior's Cheesecake. Again, I highly recommend eating there. It's a great place to eat. Uh, the M&M store is right in front of it. On the right side, you would see Krispy Kreme. Walking a little bit further down here, you'd see a halal cart. A bunch of halal carts there if you turn left. But we're going straight to Times Square. You'll see these devices that take a video of you 360. I, I don't recommend it. I guess it's overpriced. On your left side there, you'll see the ticketing center. If you line up there in the morning, you can buy cheap tickets, Broadway tickets, and you can watch the same day. And now we're in Times Square. Let's walk back towards the hotel. Again, this is Krispy Kreme. And I really wanted to show you the back entrance of the hotel. This is where you get dropped off if you're taking an Uber or a cab. Now, this is the back entrance of the Crown Plaza Times Square. If you see the escalators there, it's the one that we took going to the chandelier area. Walking a little bit towards here, this is the Broadway musical Chicago. Great reviews online, but I personally haven't seen it myself. Maybe I should try it this year. On the left side here, uh, it's the Book of Mormon. Uh, it is funny. I've seen this one, and it's very funny. I suggest you take a look and see this Broadway musical. On the right side is Empire Steakhouse. Yes, it's a decent steakhouse, but I still prefer Gallagher's and Keen's. Walking a little bit further, you would see... Lily's Victorian, they do decorate this place every year, especially in Christmas. I do suggest you go here as well. Next day, uh, let's see what they have for breakfast. I know it's not complimentary, but still, I can see the Rio Plaza Times Square in my hotel room, by the way. The breakfast area is on the right side of the elevators here. As you can see, they have bagels, they have croissants, and assorted pastries. These are not free, by the way. You have to pay for them. For the cup of coffee, I ask, it's $4 a cup. This is called Grind & Co. It's like going to Starbucks. A pro tip here, if you go outside of the hotel and turn right in front of Krispy Kreme, you will see this. They would have a breakfast cart. Now, these guys, they sell bagels, they sell breakfast items. And it's only $2 for a large coffee. So I booked the King Standard traditional room here at the Crown Plaza Times Square. My nightly rate is $120.32. Please note that the facility fee is $40.16. Total is $181.73. Now, they authorized my card for uh, $256.74. Now, that's just an authorization. I believe it will go back to my American Express three to five business days from now, and then the $181 will post uh, permanently. Overall, I would expect the Crown Plaza to be a full service hotel, wherein you have a full service gym, you have a full service restaurant and a bar, and maybe a pool in some locations. But over here at the Crown Plaza Times Square, as I've said a while ago, there's no gym included. You have to walk a couple of blocks to Millennium Broadway and there's no full service restaurant. Yes, they do have a bar that opens at 5 p.m. 
but you have a limited menu wherein you would only have bar food. The hotel room itself is a bit dated. Uh, the rugs or the carpets are very old. However, they put some new tiles in some parts so you won't be able to see it. Also, they ripped off some of the wallpapers and just repainted it. This is a way again for hotels to make the older rooms look new. The lounge chair is newly upholstered and also they have a new headboard which is a good touch. I have two big windows here at the room. I think there are one paned window, is there not double pane? It's very windy outside and at night you can hear the wind gushing through the windows. Now if you are a light sleeper, that may be a factor for you. This used to be the TV stands for the older television. And now they actually bought a new Samsung TV, I believe it's a 50 inch TV, and they decided to hang it. Great idea, however, the brackets are misaligned. They did a botch job of doing it, I, I wish they did a better job in doing it because it's a nice hotel anyways. So the overall question is, will I stay here again? Personally, I would not. However, if I do have family or friends coming in from out of town, I would recommend this hotel only if they wanted to be central to everything from the subways to Times Square to Hell's Kitchen to Rockefeller Center. They are all around this area. Now, if I were to choose though from a certain price point from Hotel Edison or Crown Plaza Times Square, the Paramount Hotel or the Ryu, if the price points are close to each other, I would definitely go back and stay at the Rio Plaza Hotel Times Square. Oh. If you do like that video at the Crown Plaza Times Square, please do click the like and subscribe button. Uh, it does help us a lot. If you have any comments or questions regarding the property, please comment down below so we can answer them as soon as we can. This is One Chat Travel. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.